Hi guys, today is the final deadline for the script writing competition and as such there aren't many more tips I can give you on writing your screenplays that you could actually put in for this competition. So instead I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on what might happen as you make films or as you enter the industry because uh, there's a, there can be a lot of uh, predetermined thoughts about it going in and uh, it's, it can be quite daunting when you realise that actually uh, it's, it's, it's not the way you think it's going to be. Uh, and speaking as somebody that's been through college and university and uh, and done it all, worked in groups, worked by myself, uh, worked with great people, worked with not so great people, uh, I thought I would be a, a good source of information for you. Uh, so the first thing that you should do when it comes to making any kind of film is be organised. But don't stress about it. Uh, it's, it's, it's not necessary to overthink. It's not necessary to um, kind of but meticulously plan out every single shot and stick to it. There is going to be stuff that you want to have a try out when you're actually there on set. Uh, I've worked on a lot of films myself where individual shots have been planned out. Uh, I've, I've been on shoots that where individual shot lists were planned out and then the shoot got completely cancelled which is which is never great uh but um i've also been on shoots where you know the, the the script has been written like the day before or even on the same day as we've started shooting and uh they've, they've turned out great despite the fact that there's never been any kind of uh planning of individual shots and everything uh, because it's not always necessary but if you're working on big projects um it can be uh, and that's simply to run it by as a very smooth film set where you know exactly what you're going to shoot, uh, exactly how it's going to look. And so you can kind of order everything, order all the extras, all the crew and all that kind of stuff um, uh, in, a, in a very organised way where you make sure you get everything done. Uh, but again, don't stress about it because uh, things will always go wrong you know or any kind of film set that you're on they will go wrong but uh, the best thing to do 100% of the time is stay calm and go to work with the problem because there will be a way to solve it there will never ever be a reason um, to completely cancel a shoot never uh, unless of course it's something um, ridiculous like it like England has gone on lockdown because of the coronavirus you know there's never any reason to completely cancel the shoot there will be a way to solve it there will be a way to solve it on set there will be a way to solve it in the editing room if you want to do something particular in the edit room you can guarantee that there will be a way to solve it somehow okay it, it's, it's just a case of trial and error um you going through all the footage you've got uh going through all the all the different kind of shot ideas that you have and going to work with the problem and not letting that freak you out and control you and control the way your film ends up being there will be a way to solve it the best way to you know maintain fun is is to do things like that keep the, the stress to a minimum make sure you're organized but that you have fun with it <clears throat> okay uh, you will not ha have fun as a filmmaker if you are meticulously scrutinizing absolutely everything that you do and it's not necessary to do that um because the best the, the best films that I've ever made are ones that have actually just been done for fun rather than being done for any kind of project. And the best ones that I've done are the ones that I can have fun with. OK, the ones that are, you know, shot quickly, they're not overthought um, and the, the the crew is really easy and you know enjoyable to work with. Um, I don't see filmmaking as a job. Personally, I see it as, uh, as something really fun that you can often get paid for. Uh, and I think that's the best work ethic. It's having a solid balance between having fun and getting the job done. If it were up to me uh, and if I was interviewing someone to, to be on my crew, then I'd make sure that uh, an ability to have fun was absolutely um, a skill that they had. Uh, however, some people don't see it like that and sometimes you will be working with people inevitably that don't see the fun side of it that see it as a job and strictly a job um 
and that's frustrating but uh it it is something that you'll just have to deal with there are going to be people like that um not even just in filmmaking in wh whatever kind of thing that you're making um but uh the best thing you can do is simply put up with it because those people no one will work with them again nobody who's not just like them will ever want to work with them again so you know that what 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 those kind of people will produce is uh, a much uh, a much more insignificant product than you would have done if you were actually having fun. Uh, some people just get too passionate about it quite simply to the point where they can't realize anyone's vision but their own uh, and uh, it's in order to not be like that yourself just take these tips into consideration you know you'll make a much better much better project if you enjoy what you're doing and you're passionate about it so the most important thing on a film set simply be nice to people always be nice to people thank them and appreciate the work that they're doing especially if you're in a position above them if you're the director uh, or, or if you're the head of one of the departments um, be kind and appreciate the work that the people are doing because what they're doing is delivering your vision um, and you, you mustn't obsessively search for problems in a person's performance uh, and especially don't hold it against them. So, for example, if, say, somebody accidentally knocks um, a, a tripod or, or, or a light over, um, don't lambast them for it because accidents happen. OK, uh, don't, don't hold it against them. Don't uh, shout at them saying, oh, how dare you knock over that light? Just uh, go say to them, oh, <clears throat> uh, don't worry, worry about that, mate. There, there's no damage, but uh, just make sure that you uh, that, that you pack it down and put it somewhere out of the way next time. Okay, and that's that. That is as far as that conversation needs to go. It's not worth ever um, lambasting people for work that uh, they're not doing a great job on. If you do have stuff to say about their performance, um, make sure that when you talk to them, that the praise that you give them is equal to the constructive criticism that you're giving them because if somebody feels like you're constantly criticizing their performance when all they're doing is trying really really difficult it really brings down the atmosphere and it brings down um the the, the amount of work that they want to do for you it, it, it brings it, it creates a, a really unpleasant atmosphere on the film set and the best film sets are absolutely the ones that you'll be having fun on <clears throat> so uh yeah, just make sure that uh, if, if if you need to talk to someone about uh, the way they're doing, just say, oh, um, I thought I thought you did a really good job of this the the other day, mate. Um, you did a that that's a great shot right there, but I think you could improve just a little bit in in this way. And chances are they will, because they see that they you're appreciating their effort as well as giving them some constructive criticism. People don't mind criticism. Okay, as long as it's given in a, in a constructive manner and uh, you're not being horrible about it, pretty much. Uh, the only exception, really, is when people are being clearly lazy, but it will be obvious if, if they are. If somebody is, del is doing their work and uh, performing, chances are they're trying their absolute hardest. Uh, it, will be, it will be really obvious if they're not trying and they don't really care. So uh, if, if just just make sure that uh, if, if you do need to, you know, have a chat with somebody that you're just nice to them. It's so important to be nice to people because that's when you'll get the best product. Everyone likes each other. Everyone's having fun. Everyone works together. Great. Those are the best kind of atmospheres. Don't don't be mean or rude to people. No one likes that. No one will, will, will want to work with you again. OK, so uh, that's pretty much, um, you know, the best way to have a film, you know, be organised, be fun, don't be mean, you know, essentially. Um, on Monday, I will be announcing the winner of the script writing competition, uh, and I will also be uh, setting a, a new script writing competition that will be much shorter. Uh, there'll be uh, a limit on, on pages, but there will also uh, be a shorter deadline. Okay, to, to get things done a little bit faster uh, so so that we can 
we, we can keep it going here at Propbox and uh, we're constantly doing things. Uh, so look out for new tips on Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, I'll be giving you recommendations of films uh, as well as screenwriting and filmmaking tips such as this. So uh, I really hope this helped and remember to give us a message if you need some help. Okay, uh, I'll also be offering one-to-one uh, -one sessions on screenwriting should you need them. There'll be more information about that in an email that goes out. Uh, and keep, also keep an eye out uh, tomorrow for Molly and Owen. They're going to be uh, giving you uh, a brief on new projects that we're going to be starting. Uh, and the, the Cinderella video is going to be cut together and edited very soon. So you make sure that you keep up to date on our social medias and on your emails and and all that kind of stuff to make sure you don't miss anything. All right, stay safe, everyone.